I'm chopping it off, guys. Hi guys, it's Amanda, and here I am in my bathroom, and I am going to try something today that I have never attempted before because I have been too afraid to do, and that is cut my own hair with the assistance of my husband, so you'll probably see his hands in here a little bit to help me. The reason I have decided to do this is because I have decided that I just don't want to spend money on haircuts, at least right now. Granted, with long hair, I only do it like once or twice a year, so it's not that expensive, but even still, like if you're going to a decent place to get your hair cut, it's somewhere between, you know, 30 to 50 bucks. And right now we just don't want to be spending that kind of money. I have been watching a ton of YouTube tutorials and after just watching a couple of them, I was like, wait a second, I can totally do this. This isn't that hard. I'm kind of surprised that I actually haven't tried it before now because <laughs> it actually doesn't look that complicated. And I feel like if my husband and I can do this, then like I'm just gonna start cutting my own hair from now on. We're going to try one of the methods that I watched today, and it's literally been a year, guys, since I've cut my hair, and I don't know if you can see just how bad the ends are, but they are getting so frayed. There are so many split ends, and it's long, long overdue. So, this isn't gonna be like overly drastic, but I am gonna cut off just a couple of inches of length just to get all that scraggly stuff off the end, and then I'm going to layer it. And so that's the part that I've been watching all the tutorials on is just basic layering. And there's actually a hack. The method I'm trying is from, she's a pretty big YouTuber and I can't remember her name. I'll put it right here on the screen so you can see it. I'll link her tutorial here in the cards and you can watch the tutorial that I watched so you can see the method that I'm doing. So for this method, all you need is a hair straightener. I don't think I have a hair straightener anymore. I used to have one because I used to straighten my hair all the time, but when I started wearing my hair curly most of the time, I think I got rid of it. So I actually just have my hair dryer here with the, whatever this thing is called. I'm obviously not a beauty guru, but the thing that concentrates the hot air, you know what I mean. And I have my ugly old brush here, which I used to use a lot just for straightening. So that's what I'm gonna do to straighten it first. When you have curly hair like me, and I actually already straightened it a little bit before I did this video, um, but when you have curly hair, it helps to straighten it first when you're doing this at home, just cause you can see so much better what you're doing. And then you're also going to need some hair ties and obviously a nice sharp pair of scissors. I actually got these at Target. They are hair cutting shears and they had them for a pretty decent price at Target. Um, but any like sewing scissors also work really well. You just need a really sharp, sharp pair of scissors. So that is all I need. So let's get started. So all I'm going to do first is get my hair as straight as I can get it with my hair dryer and my brush. as it would be with a straightening iron, but I think it's good enough for what we are trying to accomplish here. So the next step is to get all of your hair into a ponytail on the front of your head. Now in this tutorial that I was watching, she was saying that the closer you get it to the front of your head, the more the layers will be, you know, more framing your face and closer to the front of your head. And the further back you move it, the more the layers will be more back here. So I mostly just want my layers to be mostly in the front, but it does also do a little bit of layering in the back with this method. So I'm gonna gather up all of my hair into a ponytail and put it right here. Totally get 
the like 80s side ponytail thing going on here. assistance with the actual cutting part. Maybe after we do this the first time I might attempt doing this all by myself, but I don't entirely trust myself yet. He cuts his own hair and he's actually pretty good at cutting his own hair, so I'm going to trust him to help me with this. Let's see how this goes. And we're just waiting for him to come downstairs. My hubby is right here, but all you're going to see is his hands in this video. Alright, so next thing I watched in this tutorial is to, I need to pull my sleeves here, um, is to put a ponytail in, another ponytail holder in, just to keep it in place. Okay, she also put another one in like right below where she's cutting, but I think we can manage without. Um, what I'm going to be doing is you can see all of my split ends here with my previous layers They go up to about Here, so I'm gonna try and cut about an inch above that. So I'm gonna be chopping off a good what four inches Here it goes It's a pretty amount of hair here. I do have a fair amount of hair. Any imperfection in the straightness here will be obliterated by the feathering anyway. That will require a second pass. We're going to try other scissors. He doesn't like these scissors. We have other hair cutting scissors. He's going to go get those. Take note, I guess the target scissors are kind of cheap. Oh well, I'm glad he has another pair. He's also a lefty, so it, he's trying to find a pair of scissors that work for lefties. I tell you, the world discriminates against lefties, and if you're not a lefty, you don't usually think about these things. Like, scissors are made for right-handed people. Better scissors. We're gonna try evening this thing out a little bit. it and it makes it a lot less blunt so it's not just this flat cut. cutting it looks nice and feathered now so that's it that's it that's all you do it's actually surprisingly easy take it off and just find out all right let's moment of truth here the layers are a little shorter than I had anticipated but that's okay we might need to feather them out just a little bit more too Okay, so we're gonna just put my hair into even pigtails just to try and uh, feather the bottoms a little bit more just because I still see a few split ends down there. So I'm just gonna put it in pigtails and do some more point cutting on the bottom. Yeah, I think that maybe just down here, just do a blunt cut and then feather it again. Feather it directly at me so that I can make these two even. <laughs> Perfectionist, and that comes in handy for this kind of thing. Right. 
So now we're just going to, we took a little bit more length off to get some more of those split ends, so now he's just going to point cut and feather these some more. how it goes. That actually looks pretty good in terms of feathering. Alright, another moment of truth. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So it still has most of my length in the back and most of the layering, you can see, right around my face. I'm pretty happy with this and I think this will work really well when I wear it curly because that's how I wear it most of the time now. Even if there are some imperfections in the curly hair, you won't be able to see that at all. And even straight, I think it looks pretty good. High five. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Just comment if you know what movie that is. <laughs> I'll let you see in the back here too. There's all the way around. I'm pretty happy with it and in future videos you'll see what it looks like curly with this haircut so that was 100% free I didn't spend any money on it and it was actually pretty easy and I'm pretty darn happy with how it turned out so anyway if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can get a notification with every new video and thank you so much for watching see you guys next time bye